What's going on, all my riders and gliders? We are back here with another video. I know it's been a while, you guys. I apologize for the delay, but today we got a, just a quick video for you guys. All right, so just a quick background on why we got the Navi in the first place. We live in a neighborhood where there's a lot of restaurants, retail shops, and bars. So we just would hop on, ride on over, and don't have to deal with parking because you know parking is a mess, especially in Dallas. So after a year about owning the Navi, my wife decided she wanted something she could ride. She wasn't too comfortable on the Navi with the seat height and you know the how heavy it was. And she actually thought it was pretty fast, which as we all know, it's not the fastest bike. But um, with all that said, we decided to look for something for her. And this is what we came up with. So we were able to find this hidden gym here a few months ago before summer it's been a while and it only had 112 miles on it I believe it was a two owner it didn't run at the time so we got a good deal so all we had to do was clean the car replace the jets fuel filter just replace the oil all that good stuff and it was good to go nothing major at all yeah we actually put some pirelli tires on it as well it didn't need any but i figured the tiles were, the tires actually were pretty old so decided to replace those overall in good shape it is out of angle so that's why it's leaning a little bit crooked there's a navi and the honda metropolitan together now now the honda metropolitan is actually 175 pounds 176 i believe and the honda navi is around 230 i think something like that it's a big difference in weight the seat height is 28 inches on the metropolitan while the navi is about 30 inches so you know anybody who's new to riding that lower seat height and the lower weight they're gonna feel a lot more comfortable they can touch the ground a lot more easier and the good thing about the honda metropolitan i think it actually has you know front brake left brake don't have to worry about a foot brake you know eventually if you start to ride motorcycles it's going to get possibly confusing for you but i mean in this case it just makes things a lot easier in my opinion especially for a new rider so a cool thing about the Metro, it's got a hook here, you know, if your lady has a purse or if you got a bag, grocery bags, significant others doing some shopping or whatever. We got decent trunk space here. It's not too bad. See here, we got the triple charger. We got a tire pressure gauge here. She likes to roll them out with some tunes here. So she's got a speaker here. Of course, the manual. And this actually, so you can lock the center stand so nobody rolls off with your stuff. That's always good. But yeah, it's a pretty sweet looking bike. The good thing also is it got the kickstart as well in case your battery dies. Which these batteries don't, you know, hold a charge that long. So that's always a good thing. There's been a few occasions where it's just not starting and then we have the kickstart so we're good to go. So another good thing about the Metropolitan is that it's a 50cc, so it's not a lot of power. To some people, that's not a pro, but for anybody that's already not the most confident on two-wheeled motor vehicles, it's a good way to ease them into it, let them feel comfortable, and, you know, obviously don't let them go into some heavy traffic, you know, with 40 mile per hour speed limits, stick to the streets. That's the best way, especially with this kind of um, engine. And also the Honda Metropolitan has a bigger gas tank, slightly bigger gas tank than the Honda Navi. The Honda Navi barely has one. It's not even one, I believe it's 0.9. And the Metro has 1.3, I believe. So you get a lot more fuel, a lot more mileage out of it. All in all, I think it's a good solid choice. Now the couple things that are different about the Honda Metropolitan, it does have a radiator there. So you will need to make sure that your fluid is topped off. So keep that in mind. And also another uh, note to hit here on the Honda Metropolitan is that 
it does not have a choke system or let me rephrase you don't have to manually adjust the choke it has an automatic choke that adjusts it so that's awesome for anybody that know how the choke works or doesn't you know completely understand it you just turn the key hop on let it warm up let it do its thing and then you can just roll on out you ain't, you don't gotta sit there adjusting it you know you know how we do it on the Honda Metro Pause. You like slightly move it and then it, it dies if it's not in the correct position. You know, so eliminate all that. Start this bad boy up. Chill. Get your gear on. Roll out. Easiest way right there. So that's a wrap, you guys. You know, I just wanted to show you guys what we added to our collection, our mini collection that we've started now. All of a sudden, um, if anybody's hesitant about getting their significant other a scooter or another motorcycle to ride with them on the navi it's well worth it trust me you're not going to regret it we've had so much fun riding on our own machines you know not butting heads on the navi if anyone's rode with the passenger you know them helmets just knocking the whole time so it's cool we got the intercom on our helmet so we can talk to each other which i highly recommend we tried at first without the intercoms and it was so much miscommunication. It was almost not even fun. So get the intercom. It's so much better. That's so much fun. Just cruising around town, you know, hopping around. It's awesome. So if you're looking for a sign, this is it. Just go ahead and do it. Christmas is coming up, you know, might as well. New Year's resolutions. You want to spend more time with your significant other? Here we go. Let's do it. Again, I appreciate you guys checking out my video here. If anybody rides with their significant other or their partners, let everybody know in the comments how you like it. If you got a cool experience, go ahead and drop it down below. I like to see and read everything that you guys post there. And uh, before I get out of here, let me just show you a silhouette of what's to come. So again, remember I said something about a collection. We got something else right here. Let me know what you guys think it is. I know it's pretty hard to guess because it could be almost anything, but it is a two-wheeled motorbike. So let's see what you guys guess there. Until the big reveal, if you enjoy these videos, go ahead and like and subscribe. Share with your family, friends, or whoever you want to. We'll be back with another one. Y'all guys stay safe and happy riding. Peace.